A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 2 to 11. John, in his prison, has heard what Christ was doing, and he sent his disciples to ask him, Are you the one who is to come, or have we got to wait for someone else? Jesus answered, Go back and tell John what you hear and see. The blind see again, and the lame walk. Lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised to life, and the good news is proclaimed to the poor. And happy is the man who does not lose faith in me. As the messengers were leaving, Jesus began to talk to the people about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed swaying in the breeze? No. Then what did you go out to see? A man wearing fine clothes? Oh no, those who wear fine clothes are to be found in palaces. Then what did you go out for? To see a prophet? Yes, I tell you, and much more than a prophet. He is the one of whom scripture says, Look, I am going to send my messenger before you. He will prepare your way before you. I tell you solemnly, of all the children born of women, a greater than John the Baptist has never been seen. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he is. John the Baptist, having been arrested just as Jesus was about to begin his ministry, is now imprisoned. From his prison cell, John seems to question his own conviction that Jesus truly is the one who is more powerful than I am, and I am not fit to carry his sandals. We can actually take some comfort from this, that he, who Jesus calls the greatest to be born of a woman, has his own moments of doubt. We, like John, can have our faith tested whilst imprisoned in one way or another, chained to our work, shackled by broken promises, held captive by debt, slaves to material possessions, or controlled by an ailment, to make a few suggestions. Jesus is only too aware of this because he knows what it means to be human. He simply asks John, his followers and us to maintain the faith in the one who makes the blind see, the deaf hear and the lame walk. These were the actions that were prophesied by Isaiah and they are the actions performed by Jesus the true Messiah. In today's readings, Isaiah writes of vengeance and retribution. And this image of the destructive fire of the Spirit is the one John had earlier used when preaching of the one who was to come after him. The fire of the Spirit, though, is warming and restorative. And Jesus appeared as a Messiah who would focus on healing the prisoner rather than destroying the prison system. Jesus' words at the end of today's Gospel reading, therefore, are in praise of John and are of encouragement to all to keep believing in him. Advent once again gives us time to prepare for the Lord's coming. We quite rightly prepare to remember and celebrate Christ's birthday, whilst we patiently await Christ's second coming in glory. However, we also wait for the Lord to continually seek out all who are confined within their individual personal prisons and for the healing, consolation and freedom that his Spirit brings. Today, on this Scaudete Sunday, we have much to rejoice in. <laughs>